broken. It is all broken. <sighs> That's better. Anyway, welcome back to another episode of Redstone for Dummies. This is on the bedrock version. Last week we uh, released a sneaky peek peek at the combination lock that I created and so today that's we're going to do a tutorial on. Okay, so the mechanics we'll be using in this build will be the pulse extender and an AND gate. So it's not on. It's not on. See how it's not on, but once they're all through all off. Ta-da! Oops. So yeah, don't really need to know how it works. Just just follow along if you can. Now, this doesn't matter if you hit the buttons in different order, but you do have to hit the buttons within a time limit. So it gives you a certain amount of time to hit the buttons. And depending on how big you need this, depends on more time you need. But we can show you how to extend the time with the pulse extender. It's really, really easy. And nine out of ten of you guys probably won't need help with that at all. Okay, so we're going to jump into this. But first, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. And hit that notification bell too, just in case. I, I, I may come up with something a little bit better in the long run when I get a little bit more used to bedrock mechanics suck. I do like the way my character blinks though. Anyway, let's get into it. This build you're going to need blocks. Of course. <laughs> Just I, I never really release how many blocks is going to what I'll try and try and put them in the comments down below but it's, it's really depending on how big you make it etc etc and it, it's not that hard it's not using a multitude of different types of blocks so you will need repeaters comparators um, buttons um, redstone lamps are not necessary I'm using them so it's just a indicator oops of which one you've just pressed. Um, uh, redstone torches, some dust, building blocks, etc., etc. Usual, your usual redstone toolkit, I guess you'd say. Okay, so first we're going to do is you're going to build your platform, I guess you'd call it, or your panel. And on every single one of the lights, if you are building it like this, you want to put down some buttons. Now I don't think it really matters whether you use wood or stone. Um, this one I'm using stone but I have built other ones that have used wood and it really not much difference and if if there is I couldn't really tell. So nice and easy like that. Okay now what you want to do now is choose your combination. Okay, so I've decided to make it a little bit more easier for myself because a bit of a nitwit here. So underneath the lamps that you've chosen, the ones with the buttons on, it's going to be your the buttons of your combination. You want to put a block underneath each one so you can take out a redstone signal like that. So over here I would mine would be that that whoops that one and then that one but you could just as easily go one two three or one two three as long as you do it within the correct time limit and you press the correct buttons okay so from here you want to build it down to a platform where everything will be level so if you have let's say a crazy one that's up here you need to try and bring it down to the same level it's you don't have to it's just ten times easier to do it that way and, and then you just bring it down like so like this until you reach to a point where you feel comfortable that it's that it'll, it'll it's all gonna be okay 
All right, and now this part will be the easy pit, bit, not pit, bit, bit. Seashell, seashells by the seashore. See, speech therapy, like I said in the other video. Okay, so this is where you're going to put your pulse extender, which is just as easy as anything else, like so. And then, boom, boom, that there is your pulse extender with a redstone torch on top. Now, if I haven't already forgotten how to put that on, and that should hopefully give you enough time to reach your other ones, but just in case it's not, if you need a little bit more time, just keep adding comparators in the same pattern, and that will give you a longer extension. Okay, now once that you've done that three times, put them all down to where you need to be. This is why I, I, I said keep it to a, a central level, because on top of these redstone torches here, you need to add blocks all the way across. That'll reach every single one of them. On top of those blocks have some redstone dust. They should all light up nice and pretty for you. What I'll do is add another one here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so go across all of, all of them. Um, where your output is going to be, have it one block over. I, I don't know if that's a absolutely necessary thing, but it doesn't help. You know, it doesn't hurt to be more safe than sorry. Okay, now once you've done that, you need to take a output from here. It's pretty sure you can use redstone. I'm going to use a repeater, like so, into another block. We need to carry that signal down. And safety lines are overrated, so who cares? Down like so. Now, this is just for example that your door or your piston door or whatever it is, is over there so all it is is to take a redstone signal from here over to here but it's not just sim that simple it's not that simple that would just pulse then and this would open quickly and then close quickly so you also need to put a redstone timer or a pulse onto this bad boy or whatever opening you are choosing to do so easiest way that I have found to do that da -da -da -da. let's make a bit of a hole for myself okay let's do that get these open like so have that there now you need a redstone signal to come out so what I'm going to do is just in case I make this a little long put a redstone blah, 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 redstone torch redstone repeater there bring this down and what we need to do from here is to put I wonder let's just dual shock for dual, sh blah, 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 dual shock for battery level low I wonder if that pops up on the video anyway I'm a bit of a lazy guy today. I haven't bothered to uh, recharge any of my controllers. So fun times for me. Let's get this over and done quickly then. All right, so have this come down. And like I said, you need another one of these. Like so. Probably not built in that direction. Give me one moment. Excuse the shoddiness, but I just did it very quickly. <laughs> Pretty lazy. The lazy way. All we did was run a redstone signal uh, line down here into another pulse extender, which came from this block here. And, and well, as you can see, a bit of a redstone torch thing going on here. These repeaters will click on because this will be powered, which will turn those off which will turn these on which will open these doors now if you have a quick look one 
two and three. Ta-da. Okay, so what I'll do is get rid of these just to give you a quick lowdown of how it looks when it's working. I think I didn't get anything. Okay, there we go. No, we're good. All right, so one, two, three. What did I break? What did I break? No, it's up here. Okay, so one, two, three. There we go. So when you hit this one here, it's going to do that and see how it's still powered and you still have that certain amount of time you have that much time to get the other switches and like I said if you need more time over here it's just as easily done by doing the exact same thing as we did over there by adding some more comparators and that will now stay open a touch longer. So if we go one, two, and three. Perfect. Now, obviously, you do a better job with the tour and stuff like that. But yeah, that's just the simple way to do it. Okay, now that's all I had time for today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And I guess I'll see you guys all in the next video. Toodaloo.